Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. Uh, so today's question is from the topic of limits. And in this question, we have been told to solve a limit that is given as limit x tends to zero. And we have been given that x tan of 2x minus 2x tan x. And the denominator is given to us as 1 minus cos 2x the whole square. So let's understand first of all how to solve this type of limit. First thing, if I try to simplify this trigonometric equations, I can write this whole thing as limit x tends to 0. I can see here that x I can take out common. If I take out x common, what I'm left with is tan 2x minus 2 tan x. Denominator, if I try to Simplify, I can use the idea of a double angle that says 1 minus cos 2x is nothing but 2 sin square x. So if I write that 1 minus cos 2x, I can write that as 2 sin square x, the whole square. So now if I further try to simplify, I get this as limit x tends to 0, x. Now I can again use the formula for double angle in terms of tan 2x also. Tan 2x, I can write that as 2 tan x upon 1 minus tan square x. So if I write this, I can write this as 2 tan x upon 1 minus tan square x minus 2 tan x. Denominator, I can again simplify 2 square, that I can write as 2 square. 4 and sin square x, the whole square becomes sin raised to 4x. If I further try to simplify this, I get this limit x tends to 0. Now I can see here 2 tan x is common in the numerator from both the ends. So I can take out 2 tan x also common. So I get it 2x tan x common. I can now simplify this becomes 1 upon 1 minus tan square x minus 1. Denominator, it is 4 sine raised to 4x. So I can cancel to 1s to 2s. Now further, if I try to simplify, it becomes limit of x tends to 0. x tan x. Further, if I try to simplify the bracket, I can multiply the whole expression with 1 here. So it becomes 1 minus... 1 minus tan square x, the whole thing upon 1 minus tan square x, and dividing this entire thing by 2 sin raised to 4x. So now I get it here that limit x tends to 0, x tan x, this becomes 1 minus 1 plus tan square x. Dividing it by 1 minus tan square x. And here in the denominator, I am left with 2 sin raised to 4x. So I have taken this entire expression also in the denominator because it is actually present in the denominator. So 1 minus 1 again gets cancelled. You get here limit x tends to 0. x and tan x into tan square x becomes tan cube x upon 1 minus tan square x and here I get it 2 sin raised to 4x. So now if I try to solve this further, I can separate some of the terms and apply the limits separately to each of them. So one thing I can take out as first thing half common. So I am taking half out already. I can apply limit x tends to 0. Now I can split my entire trigonometric ratios as first thing 1 upon 1 minus tan square x because if I put x as 0 I do not have any harm from this. I am getting this 1 upon 1 minus 0. Then I can split x with 1 sin x so it becomes x upon sin x 
and if I use one sin x, three sin x are still left in the denominator, and tan cube x is also left. So now if I separately apply limits to each of them, limit x tends to zero. I can write this as same one upon one minus tan square x multiplied with limit x tends to zero. X upon sine x, I can write that as one upon sine x by x. And tan cube x, I can again write it as sine cube x upon cos cube x because tan theta is nothing but sine theta by cos theta and sine cube x which is already present in the problem. So sine cube x if you understand it directly gets cancelled and now if I try to apply the limits here half if I apply the limit that is if I substitute x as 0 I get this as 1 upon 1 minus tan square of 0 and tan 0 as we already know it is 0 so 0. Then limit x tends to 0 sine x upon x we also know it is 1 so that is the whole idea. So the idea I'm using here, I'll write that in the bracket. I'm using since limit x tends to 0, sine or limit theta tends to 0, sine theta upon theta is equal to 1. So we have used that idea here. And the last part, limit x tends to 0, 1 upon cos cube x is present. If I put cos cube of 0, so cos 0 is also 1. So now if I write that half, 1 upon 1 into 1 and cos cube of 0 is also 1 so it is 1 cube so that's also 1 so basically half into 1 is left so you get the answer for the question which is asked to us that as half and if you see the option which matches here with the answer is D so D is the correct answer in this question which is asked to us so we were asked to find the limit of this entire expression and when we solved this idea, we simplified some trigonometric options here and then we got the correct answer in this case after substituting the limit as half. So that is the correct answer, that is option D. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of question of limits where trigonometric functions are involved. You need to simplify them first. Okay, I'll meet you again tomorrow with the next question. Till then, you can like, share these videos with your family and friends who are involved in preparation of IIT, JWD, mains as well as advanced. And also subscribe to my channel. Thank you.